So today we have an island that we're going to settle with a village of little dinosaurs. We just touch down in a little area like this and then we get to work building a settlement for them like a couple of little houses that are needed for the three settlers that we have. So we get two of those and then one for me because I'm the chief because I have the big stick. So they'll get to work building that pretty quickly. And then we're also gonna need some other little places for them like a farm and then a kitchen so they can turn all that into food. And then we'll just let them build these things for a little bit. Ooh, and then we get these occasional little pop-ups so we can improve the dino a little better by giving him some happiness or building. Let's just have you be done building for a little bit. There, that instantly built the kitchen. Beautiful. So that all fills most of their needs, but then we still need a tavern so they can stay happy. And then that should be the last thing that they need primarily. So then they'll occasionally make some more dinos for us. Beautiful. Oh, and we're also starting to make a little bit of noise. So the monsters are going to awake soon. That will not be very good, but we should be ready by that time. And we do have a dino that is lonely because there's only three settlers here and two of them already made babies. Oh, well, at least we can give you probably more energy because they were all looking kind of brain dead. So that should be a little bit better for that. There we go. Also, this whole time I thought they were carrying around little coffee cups. Those are hammers. All of them look like they need coffee, though. But we are starting to make more dinos, so we're going to need more houses. Thankfully, there's still plenty of prime real estate to do that. Oh, but you're not looking too good. You have a fever. That's not good at all. Hopefully, you get better soon. And we are deforesting a lot of trees, so we should get those built up, too. As soon as we're done giving you extra happiness. Need to get more trees in place so we don't run out of those. Okay, that den is at maximum, like, alertness. So we're going to see some enemies pretty soon. And there it is. It's a wolf. Well, thankfully, we can set you to destroy. So the villagers should help out with this fight, too, if they need to. But our guy is looking pretty strong. And we can make you even stronger with more attack power. Beautiful. Just go ahead and get rid of this wolf. And everybody's helping out with this. So that is this little bit of land captured. And we also get a bunch of points from this, too. And then we also get the chance to focus on nutrition a little bit. So let's give everybody more health because that's what my chief is good at and then with that settlement we can also spend some sellers to upgrade it which gives us new research like ooh, better growth speed which is meat fruits i love that my favorite kind of fruit and i think doubling the farm speed is going to be a lot better so now we come into the research tree and research that with some of the civil points that we were getting i like this and then we have more land to explore like this land down here is very rich okay but we can also spend settlers for a soldier house right here because there's settlement that's already here i think this should be okay because we're gonna have seven left over there for more research oh so we can get a ranger house or a guardian house i do like the sound of defense so we'll go here and we make sure that's oh it costs 12 points okay but we have that researched so we'll just need to settle in a different spot to get more points and thankfully, the land here is rich, and we should only need two settlers here. Hey, now we can build a sick bay. That should be good for the dinos that get fever, because they like to do that, apparently. So we'll definitely have to make sure we get that sick bay set up along with everything else. Thankfully, all the buildings in this game are pretty quick, especially if we give them a little building boost. Oops, that was bad. That was minimal happiness. But we are definitely going to need more trees here pretty soon, because there's a lot of buildings to build now. At least now the sick bay is set up, so we should stop seeing ill dinos and this little guy's just venturing all the way next to this meteor enemy base thing oh gosh and now they're starving because we didn't have the kitchen set up oh dear that's not good but thankfully they just fixed themselves right up and i don't know why these both are lonely you literally have each other it must not be good if there's constant buildings to be made so we'll try to get this one built up as soon as possible Beautiful. So now that everything is done being built, we can go ahead and let them do their own thing. And thankfully, there's a lot of food that gets made at once. Jump from 197 to 337. And then 477. That's very good. But you two need to work on being happy. And we will give them a big ol' happy boost. Okay, now they're going to the taverns, so they should get more happiness from there. There definitely is, like, an order to building these buildings. Oh, but look at that! They're ready to make a baby! Okay, so now things should start moving in a more positive direction. The mood is still overall happy, so that's good things. And we will just keep the happiness going as much as we can. There, now there's another full-grown dino, which means we need to start building more houses. And this house has a little fence in the front yard. That's pretty good. Oh, and there's a sick dino right there, so making a very quick trip to the sick bay and then he's all better beautiful and they just are really into the making more dinos mood so you really need to keep up the production here can they move through that fence it looks like they can or maybe not because he's having to jump all the time 
Well, now they don't need to worry about it. What we do need to worry about, though, is these guys are ready to wake up. But we should be able to take care of them pretty well. As long as our chief actually joins the fight instead of letting everyone else do it. And we can also give you more attack power. That should do a lot better against these things. Our dinos are starting to take some damage, but the wolf is taking even more damage. Oh, man. Is that bullying? That might be bullying. But now we have an okay building variety, so we get a bit more civil points for that. Good. Ooh. We found a rare bird egg? Oh, we could definitely adopt that. And now we can summon sailors. Beautiful. They don't need food. Oh, that's even better. And wow, there's a lot going on. So we can also train and improve one of our stats. I think more health can be good because that's the way my chief is leaning anyway. So now we have enough civil points to bring in the guardian house. And then we should be able to upgrade. Oh, foraging. Let's leave the forage. Oh, okay. So we get to choose what we get. Health boosting, strength, and intellect. Let's get the strength one for sure. So we forge you and then you. How many can we forage? All of them? I hope it's all of them. So we only have 28 turns until the fruit spoils. Well, you should be able to get all of them. Oh, but those turns move very quickly. Okay, then. Hopefully you can get all of them. There's just one left. And we should be able to. There, we got them all. So we get even more boosts. I like this. So let's use some settlers to upgrade here. Thankfully, it doesn't cost very much and for even more upgrades. Ooh, so this will give us a bit of a boost before going into combat. I like this. Can we get it right now? We can. But now the enemies are starting to get a little tougher, or at least there's more of them. So we should definitely see where we can go next and have it be good for us. And and there's a lot more rich land developing here. This looks like some lava things. I'm curious about this. Let's bring in two again. Okay, so there's a whole <laughs> lot of nothing here. But we can build a shrine. Oh, and there's the guardian right there. Oh, I love this. Can we summon a guardian right now? I have no idea. Let's get our stuff set up first. Oh, and there's a foraging boost. Nice. And so they don't starve again. Farm and kitchen go up right away. Also, look at this little guy. This is like a weird pterodactyl with a round nose. It avoids petting. Why? And then the tavern. And then the shrine should also go in up here, I think. So all the production buildings are in a line. Well, not production, but, you know, all the necessary buildings. And now the shrine is built. So we have a little orb over here that is going to fill up over time, and then we can summon more things. Okay, now let's give these guys a really good harvest. And then we can go ahead and wait for more dinos before we decide to build something else. So off they go to do that. And now we can actually summon things, like the sailors, or, ooh, the guardian's there. But you also need a guardian house, which we can put in still. Just bring you in right there. So we have a guardian, and you're homeless right now, but that's a very quick fix. Guardian house right up here. Get to it, fellas. We don't want him turning on us because he's cranky. And there's also two normal dinos there, so a house needs to go in up here. Or down here. Probably down here. I'm not too sure it matters where they go, but you're gonna go down here. So this guy should help us have really good defense against the monsters. Oh, I just realized I forgot to add a sick bay. That's not good. Starving and depressed. Why? There's plenty of food and a tavern there. The poor sick dino has to build the hospital before he can go into it. But his fever broke all on his own. So I guess that's a good thing. Okay, but they should be a lot better now. And so we can also bring in a sailor with the summons. So we might as well do that. They live at the tavern. So we have one of each. And we're also going to need another house down here. And the monsters are here. Okay, time to fight. Oh, I just destroyed... Oh, no, he destroyed the sick bay. Why would you do that? You jerk. As two dinos got a fever. Oh, that is not good. But our guys are doing some really good things against these monsters. At least I hope so. It looked like one of our guys was about to go down. Okay, but you're a guardian, so you probably need more health more than anything. That's good. And that's the saber tooth down. Oh, man, but there's more baddies that are showing up. <laughs> Giant bears! Okay, but that's the last of them. So we just need to... Oh, gosh, we lost the guardian. Hurry, get through them. That combat assistant seems to be doing pretty good. If we just keep taking out more things... Can we summon again? We can. Uh, ooh. What, uh... Oh, so the baby can fill a home? Oh, that's cool. I want you to be a guardian with extra health. Okay, perfect. Join the fight, please, while I summon more things. Okay, we should be surviving here, especially if I give me more attack. So the wolf is down. All that's left is the bear. And we did it. Oh, man. But we also lost a settler. That's fine, though. We made it. Ooh. And now we have chefs. They live in kitchens. Good. And we found a lost settler. So you could be a settler or civils. We'll have you be a settler. That should help a lot. Especially if we upgrade here to get a new thing. Ooh. Upgrading my dino so I get two health when dealing damage. 
I like the sound of that because the monsters are getting kind of tough. And let's see, if we go here, then we can get more settlers or another soldier house type, which we might need. So we have a, ooh, a berserker or a ranger focused on offense. I like the sound of this. Plus, it's got a Fred Flintstone looking house. And thankfully, we had just enough civil points to unlock that. Okay, let's go here because we thankfully don't need as many settlers to settle here. And I don't want to lose many more. And now we can build schools. Ooh, make children healthier. Nice. And there's a berserker right there with the big furrowed eyebrows. I love it. Now, it definitely seems like there is an order of importance on these buildings but I'm not too sure what it is because they all seem kind of equally important. So we can at least get these few collected and then maybe the shrine next? I don't know, but there's a school there and thankfully it doesn't have as big of a profile. But we don't need that until we actually have children. And the sooner we get these buildings completed, the sooner we can move on to other things. So if we summon the chef, then we have free labor in the kitchen or some of the other dinos because we lost quite a few people in that last fight. Okay, but we also need a tavern so these dinos can get happy again okay so now they're ready to make another dino so we should get a school queued up but now the countdown has started so we don't have a lot of time here oh yes and this should let us build a school right away hopefully yes now the little guy can go to school and get even more health i love this but now we can summon something so there's a chef there or should i get one of the helper things we probably don't need to recruit a sailor anymore because we have specialized units so let's get a berserker right over here and then we need a house for you right away to go right next to this rock is gonna be your rock it's gonna be your favorite rock it's oh we need a sick bay too bowler. there's always something okay and yep they're getting sick constantly i don't really appreciate you guys getting sick all the time but we can give you a whole lot of energy just in time for you to get sick at least the med bay got ready right then so what else do we need? Probably nothing, at least like necessity wise. We just need more houses. Although we can turn one of the children into like a guardian or something. So we don't really need to waste a summon on them. I like that idea. So let's hopefully get this place built up before you specialize in being generic. And there's a summon right there. So now let's summon a chef. Beautiful. So now we have someone in the kitchen at all times. So we might as well just give a bountiful harvest with that as well. And then you should become a guardian with an empty guardian hut, right? Yes! With extra health. Also, someone slept on the ground, so we need a normal house too. And so we have one of each before the creatures spawn, which is good. And then our chief has the buff from just not being in combat. So we should have everything in place before things go bad very quickly. And of course, the need for houses is never ending. Okay, but the monsters are here, so let's get to it. And the chef is getting involved too. I don't know if I like that. Or, oop, don't destroy the berserker. We need you. But there's a saber tooth here now and a bear. Oh, but the monsters are going down so fast. That is amazing. I don't even think we've lost anybody yet. Here, let's just give you a whole bunch of health to top you up. And that's one last thing just to get rid of the bear. Oh no, we lost somebody. But hey, we got positive return on the settlers. Good, good building variety. Look at that totem pole and all that Morse code it has. And our territory is under attack. Winning might reveal some settlers nearby. Okay, we'll lead this battle. So, okay, they're up there and we're down here. So we have summoning charges. So let's get some defense in place first. That way we should have a little more time bought before. Uh, are these? Are these little lizards good things? They're twitchy. Okay, so that might be a good thing. But it's just wolves right now, so now we're getting more summons. And then we can bring in some more attack-focused units. So we just have to hold off the attack wave. This is very interesting. I like this. Let's get some more guardians. But it also looks like I am at risk of going down pretty soon. But if we just keep up the balanced attack and defense, then we should be okay. Sticking with the specialized units instead of the sailors, which are pretty generic. But also, we just lost a Guardian and a Berserker, so we- Ah, oh, we just lost me! Okay, but we gotta get more things back. I don't know how many attack waves we're gonna fight here. At least we can keep summoning things. So the more tanky units we have, I think that's gonna be better. I'm just glad it's all wolves right now. And then give you some more health. That should top you up. Or maybe you're still gonna go down the same. Okay, we should hold until we have two summons available. Especially now that there's a saber tooth. Come on, just need- Need another summon. Need another summon. There it is. And then, whack, come back. Two berserkers. Especially now that there's a bear. But the cave is getting smaller, so that's good news. Okay, we need to give you more attack. Yes. So punch him. Hit him real good. Just need a summon for two. Yes. Ah, come back. 
Come back, menu. We have more guardians fighting these things now. That should lend themselves some more health. And then we can bring in one berserker. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Bring in a berserker. Oh, that's the end. The cave is empty. So it's just down to the saber tooth. And we win. Beautiful. We got some settlers back. I love that. Ooh, rectangle land within the island. Interesting. Uh, stance stance. The cold tail tribe. Item carver soldiers offer their house or to join. I'll take a house. Remember to enable it. Yeah. So what is this? Focused on item upkeep. Interesting. And then let's make sure to upgrade the settlers over here for, ooh, new buff to the berserker. Deal range damage. I like that idea. That's amazing. Now we do have these other places that we can settle, but there's also some places up here we haven't even discovered yet. Like some cool looking ruins. So let's work our way up there. We do have seven settlers right now we might honestly need to bring three to get things set up quicker oh now we have walls perfect for guiding enemies into traps i like this idea first things first though more workers means the work gets done sooner and there's a wall there so we can probably wall off this section from the monsters and then they have to go up and around to get to anything else that we have i think that's a good idea also why are you taking the long way we don't even have a wall yet and you just walked clear around the island it's not even an island. It's just like a little spot of land. Now we gotta make sure we get the shrine in place as well. And now everybody is all of a sudden lonely. You guys have houses. Well, the good news is we haven't started the countdown on the monsters yet. So we should be able to get one of these summon units before we need to worry about things. Because I don't know if bears are the toughest that they get to. Or, you know, more likely we're gonna fight more of them. That's also not a good thing. At least the overall mood on our villagers are happy so we'll just give them extra happiness okay now we can summon so let's get the chef summoned i think and then we have baby dinos on the way so we need a school can go right back there but oh man that volume picks up really quickly now we're also gonna need the berserker and guardian houses so we'll be getting those in place and i still want to get that wall built so if we take down this tree then that should be all the more wall that we need and let's go ahead and destroy this one probably so we can finish that wall oh we can also summon so which house is getting completed first okay the berserker so we'll summon you and the school is yet to build completely so we lost the opportunity to raise one of them but the last space here for the wall is complete but we also need way more trees oh and i totally forgot about the sick bay I haven't had sick dinos yet, have I? Hey, but we have one chunk of the wall completed, so that's good news. And yeah, we need to build a sick bay, and we also don't have any more lumber. I may have oversighted this. Okay, but there's trees again. But we haven't even finished the wall. At least now we don't really need to worry about raising a child to be a guardian, because now we have one here. So that's good news. Also, yes, don't mind us building a wall right next to your home. And what is the deal with all these dinos not having the food means? Probably because they're too busy building. So we should finish the building as soon as we can. And then maybe cancel some of these other things. Like this growing tree down here. Just go and get food. You're gonna starve. Come on, make your way to the kitchen. There's plenty of food for you. There you go. Took you long enough. Dinos walking around like, I'm starving and I don't know what to do. It's like, gee, I don't know. Have you considered munching? And now you're doing the same thing. At least you're happy. Or no, you're just starved and sad. Everybody's sad. But the mood overall is happy, so there's that, I guess. And the wall is complete. So we're just gonna let the dinos cook on whatever it is they're doing. And then get all the happiness juice. Ooh, we can summon more things. What should we summon, though? Maybe another berserker? I think that's a good idea. Now, are you homeless or do you share? You're homeless. Of course you are. And the wolf is awake. But at least the range attacks are going. So we, wow, that wolf is about to go down right away. Beautiful. I love those range attacks. I don't know if you're going to get a house again, but we're mostly focused on taking out the danger. And there is a lot of danger all at once. The berserkers haven't even made their way over here. They're just playing the range game, which seems to be working in our favor, though. The den is emptied out. Oh, no, we lost a dino. I don't know who that was. I need health. Do I? Yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> oh, there goes another dino. But we are still winning this. And I went down too. Oh, we lost a settler there. But that's still a lot of civil points. Oh, the bird we adopted hatched. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. I'm gonna call you Magnus because you're probably spicy. I hope you're spicy. And we have too few settlers for this upgrade. Yikes. But we're just one spot of land away from these ruins. Oh, so this is where we do the stances. So we can do more strength or more health. We do have plenty of health right now. So let's get some strength. And whoa, hey, you had something there, a fruit. So there's only one more 
spot before we reach the ruins, which according to this, the quality is very bad. But we can still settle in this place and bring half of the settlers with us. Oh, hey, bird. Thank you. Ooh, and there's lots of trees here. I like this. So thankfully, the fruit goes to the workers before they get to work. Working on the worker things. Oh, and Magnus is just flying across the screen at all times with extra goodies. I like this. At this point, he's going to make a better bird than a cat. Because Magnus is my cat, if you didn't know. Okay, now this time we won't forget any buildings. They'll all be built on time. Just need to get these three core buildings set up before anything else happens. And I don't know where you're building, but you're going to build a lot of it. Ooh, the farm is complete. Good. I think we can wait on building the shrine, honestly, just to make sure all their basic needs are met. Okay, all the basic needs are met, so now we build a shrine. And Magnus is here again. What have you got for me this time? More food. I like this. Who needs a kitchen when you have Magnus flying across? There. Now we can work towards summons. And the wall honestly did a lot of good for us with letting the berserkers go ranged on the enemies. And I do like the sheer amount of trees that there are. How is this land quality average if there's so many trees? So all that's left is a school and a sick bay. And then we'll build a school over here because I think a wall going across the middle here is going to be good for us. So hopefully now that Everything is done being built. We can just let them sit and then get to the other kind of busy. That kind of gives me more workers. Or, you know, summons are good too. So we bring in the good old chef. Oh, now the monsters are starting to stir. So thankfully they're actually making more. Now we will go ahead and get one of the specialized buildings up. Like the... I still don't really know what to do with these carvers. I don't think I need them to be honest. So we'll bring in a guardian house and a berserker house over here probably. Magnus, wow, don't fly away from me. And we have two little babies now actually. Wow. Especially now that we have the guardian house available now. And you're ready to become a guardian. Going for more health as usual. And then where did the other little guy go? He's in school. Just in time for the berserker house to be done. Starving and depressed. Why does this keep happening? But now you're a berserker with extra strength. I like this. I like it very much. And you can also summon some more things, like another Berserker, sure. And we'll make sure to get you another house, don't worry. But now we need to work on the wall, probably, hopefully before the things start waking up. Which, this will take quite a bit of wood, but it should be worth it. At least we still have a good amount of workers and food. And as long as they don't chop down any of these trees, like this one or this one, to get the wood that they need. And of course they did. We don't want any gaps in our defenses, but we also kind of need more workers, and that we don't have. So the wall is merely a suggestion right now. Will I be okay with that? I am not sure. At least it doesn't seem like the walls take too long to build. You know, maybe I should have just had the wall reach the end of the thing over here. Okay, can we afford to build something else right now? I feel like I need something else. Probably another guardian. As the monsters arrive, so never mind the homeless situation. Gonna make sure they're all lined up to be destroyed. And that berserker, or that guardian actually took them out all on his own. Hey, we have summon energy now too from Magnus. I like this. Okay, so never mind all the building projects because we don't have time for that anymore. We're just focused on taking out all the creatures, which we are taking them out as they are basically spawning, so that's a good thing. But now we're also collectively weakened. Except for me. Of course not me. I am good at this. Especially with more attack power. Straight to the bear's face. We didn't gain any settlers, but we also didn't lose any either. I like this. Hey, and then we got more lost settlers. And they give intellect, or we get more settlers. Let's go ahead and get more settlers, because that way we can upgrade still. So we get one extra health and two intellect. Select. Cool. Okay, now we're at the ruins. This is where it gets a little tricky, but we can also spend four settlers to upgrade this or this one. I don't think it matters. So we'll go here. Oh, gain strength when dealing damage, but lose intellect. Interesting. Or we can deal splash damage. I think I like the strength idea better, because that means we take out the enemy sooner. And we can also research that, thankfully. Okay, now we really don't have anything more to spare before we explore the ruins. So let's explore. Okay, this might be a little tricky, but there is like a natural choke point right there. So we probably will be okay. Probably. I'm not sure how okay we'll be, but we'll go for it. And there is a good amount of trees here too, so hopefully I don't have to worry about planting any. And we do need more sellers to come back with us, so we probably don't want to turn children into one of the specialized units, at least right away. Oh, and they're already making another one. Okay then. So we need to get that school up and running. We haven't even built any of the prime buildings yet. My goodness, these people do not wait around. Like, my goodness, nothing was built up yet, and then they're already making babies and upsetting the monsters that are near here. Also, whoever speaks Morse code, tell me what that is, because I cannot read that. And I think the best spot for the wall is going to be just over here, so we don't have to build as many, but the person is also starving. Everybody's starving. How did we run out of food? We don't... We haven't run out of food. Y'all just don't have a kitchen to eat in. It's okay. We're surviving with the all zero food that we have. 
But thankfully it gets cooked up really quick. And speaking of, do we want to summon the chef? Because since the monsters are waking up already, I think we need to start summoning the special units. So we will get a berserker house set down first, probably, and then summon one of you. Okay, now that tree is going down. So we can plan for the wall to go in and then hopefully get this built instantly. Oh, almost instantly. But now we don't have any homeless dinos. So that's good news. But now the monsters are halfway awake. I just hope they don't start whittling away the natural defenses we have up here. Okay, so we have walls built up and there's trees right there. Good. So let's let the dinos do their own thing for a little bit. Magnus gives us more food. I like it. And we almost have another summon ready. So we can work towards summoning this guardian here. So we have one of those and we're still getting new settlers. Good. But they're also chopping away some of the trees. Hopefully not too many. But also we might as well just build the wall there anyway. Oops, not there. Okay, so everybody is housed up. And now we have a good wall here. So they need to work their way around to get to us. Oh, do we need a wall right there? I hope not, because I also kind of want them to make another settler. And I am starting to think we need a wall right here, so let's build that. It won't necessarily cut them off, but they'll have to work all the way around, which will give our other units more time to wail on them. And then we can summon another thing. So one more berserker. Having the berserkers throw at range is so nice. And now they are constantly making more dinos, which is a good thing. But now that one's homeless. Okay, but they're here, so no need to worry about that anymore. And... Just as I thought, they're having to work their way around the walls, which is good. I'm not sure we even need the civilian populace to get involved necessarily, but we do kind of need all these guys targeted, so we will make sure that's a thing. And okay, yep, there's even more of them. And we just lost the guardian, so that's not good. But at least this gives us a chance to make another one out of the baby. Oh no, that was intellect. That's not what I wanted. Well, at least we can give you extra attack. Take out the bear. Destroy the bear or destroy the saber tooth. Either one. And then we can summon another guardian right up here because we don't need to worry about the homelessness anymore. And we just lost that berserker. Okay, I think we lost all of our berserkers, but we should be done with most of these monsters and also assigning them for destruction. We did it. Yes, we took the ruins and we got settlers back. Yes. Oh, so the cold tailed tribe offers soldier dinos? Supplier soldier dinos or more settlers. I haven't really used anything from the cold tailed tribe, so maybe we'll just get more settlers. And we have explored the ruins. Used as a cog for something big? So we can repair our ship. Nice. Oh, Magnus found a shipwreck lost settler? Yeah, we're taking that. So now we can repair the ship. Ooh. And we can choose a soulmate. Aw. Outgoing, active, or quiet, introverted. I think we'll go for Kavix because that's a fun name to say. So we actually have a soulmate here. Aid, sleep deprived settlers. Ooh, that's cool. Hi there. <laughs> what? Okay then, I'm not sure what that was about, but we have settled the first island and then we can move on to the next and expand our people even further. We're doing pretty good. So I think that'll do it for this video of Dino Tribe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And Magnus is still flying across the menu screen. I love this. Happy! And this is only a prologue to the full game. So if you guys wanna see that when it releases, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And I want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donomoto, X, Lucas, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Droop Along, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, DeGarity, Sands, V, Isaac, Killer Squad, Mousy Mouse, and Nicholas.